The Vine Investors Club, I'm your host, Simon Wunderlich. Let's get right into it with VIC readings. The former will look at the best of the best value investment recommendations by the best of the best value investors out there. Today, we have Marcus and uh, Millichap Inc. Ticker is MMI. Price at the point of finding is $27.72. Uh, let me first say this is not recommendation, not advice. Please do your own diligence before investing into anything. And let's get right into it. Description, introduction. May I interest you in a great business with a great, dare I say, Fort Knox balance sheet and strong competitive position with a 36% stake owner operator that is cheap due to cyclical concerns? Marcus and Milicheb MMI is a uh, CALA based, a CA based commercial real estate brokerage firm with a national footprint. It has 80 offices and 1,900 investment professionals in the United States and focuses on transactions in the private client $1 to $10 million segment. 58% of revenue. Also dealing in mid market of uh, 10 to 20 million, 16% of sales, and large market of over 20 million, 16% of sales. In 22 and 2022, uh, the company closed 9,000 transactions with total volume of $68 billion for an average ticket of 7.5 million revenue uh, to MMI of 1.17 million or 1.7% of transaction. Their bread and butter is brokering, brokering all kinds of commercial real estate transactions for rich people, apartments, industrial, self-storage, retail, etc. The company investor presentation has a good overview of the business. The company has 39 million diluted shares. $27.72 uh, is the stock price, one billion uh, and $91 million mar market cap, uh, $430 million in net cash. Oh, damn. $11 share per net cash, uh, $11 per, sorry, $11 net cash per share. 661 million EV uh, or uh, enterprise value. The uh, enterprise value is about as low as it has been since 2014. The lowest since IPO adjusting for size as cash has been piling up over time. So why are they using it? I mean, that's not necessarily a good thing. Um, history. MMI was founded in 1971 in Palo Alto, a CA by George Marcus, who still owns 36% of the stock. Marcus was born in Greece in 1941 and immigrated to the U.S. at age four. He founded both MMI and Essex, a property trust, ESS, a 2.4% stake worth uh, $38 million, in 1971. Hassam Naji is the CEO and has been since uh, 2016. The company had its IPO in 2013 at $12 per share. It was written up on VIC on uh, 26, 6, uh, 16 by Aquicap at $24.99 per share. And I encourage you to read that for background. This is a well-run company run by serious people. Business overview. This is a terrific business. It requires very little capital and churns out cash. It is basically a tax on small to mid-market real estate transactions, and the business is like an investment bank that is run for shareholders instead of employees. Also, comparing it to residential real estate brokerage, commercial brokers have less power within the firm uh, than their residential counterparts, and I believe MMI has been and will be a better business over time. The industry is reasonably stable with the key players being known quantities. In addition, the company has a pretty variable cost structure and should not lose too much money in a down cycle. HFF was a good comp and was acquired by Jones Lang LaSalle GLL, JLL in early 2019. A similar multiple of revenue applying a 2.7x EV per revenue multiple to uh, MMI revenues at the time would get a MMI stock price north of $60 per share. I do not expect MMI to be sold anytime soon, but I'm highlighting the underlying value. Marcus has built this business up slowly over many decades. He is not in a hurry and has been content to let the cash pile up. Why? The company has made a small tuck in acquisitions of teams over time. 50 million total over the last eight years. 50 million total over the last eight years, and you have how much? Uh, 600 million? Was it 600 million uh, in total in cash? What are you using it for if you're not even uh, losing much in a downturn? <laughs> Why do you have so much cash? Management made only token repurchases prior to 22, when they finally started to distribute the cash. Ah, with $1.75 per share in dividends in the last year, 
plus and $42 million of repurchases in the last two quarters of at uh, $33 per share. Okay. Note that because of the heavy cash balance, the current uh, enterprise value is 24% lower than this repurchase price. The $64,000 question on uh, this business is where we are in the real estate cycle. Why $64,000? But whatever. Current trends for commercial real estate of all sizes are terrible. 23, uh, 2023 Q1 revenues were down 52% and adjusted EBITDA, EBITDA was negative. The bad news is that this will likely continue for a while and there's no way of knowing when it will turn. The good news is that MMI will certainly make it through the other side. They have a tremendous balance sheet and variable cost structure and will not burn that much cash, even in a terrible scenario. Thesis. Uh, the way I look at it uh, is that this is uh, that this is that 18x normalized earnings implies about 48 million EBIT at the current stock price. From 2016 to 19, the company averaged 735 million in revenue, uh, in revenue and 107 million in EBIT. 18x PE on that plus uh, cash gets you to 48 dollars per share. I know the company did 189 million EBIT on 1.3 billion revenue in 21. Obviously, the next few quarters are going to be terrible, which is a big part of the reason the stock is way off and why a business of this quality is available for such a potentially cheap price. But if inflation and rates calm down and commercial real estate transactions bounce back, uh, the stock will go up a lot. Even if that takes a few years, you are reasonably well protected by the balance sheet, $11 per share per net cash, uh, a net cash per share, and the market position. And the controlling owner is intelligent, thinks long term, has his name on the door, and is not going to do anything stupid. Catalyst, turn and cycle. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you next time. Please write down in the comments below what you think of this idea.